You've got to tune to the afternoon show. It's listener-powered KEXP. Kevin Cole with you. Just heard music from Kate Tempest. Fantastic album, Let Them Eat Chaos, the song Europe is Lost. And right before that, a brand new track from Elbow. Look for that album coming out soon in 2017 called Little Fictions. And that song is magnificent, she says, here on the afternoon show. I'm down in the performance space with Haley Bonner. Uh, welcome to KEXP. It's great to have you here, finally. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Um, so uh, we'll chat in just a bit, but uh, you are playing tonight at Barboza, tomorrow in Portland at Analog. Mm-hmm. Uh, the new album, you're going to play songs off Impossible Dream. Yes. Want to just uh, roll and then we'll, uh, we'll chat? All right. Cool. Thank you.
Billy Bonner and band sounding absolutely fantastic here on the afternoon show, KEXP. A couple tracks from the new album, Impossible Dream, the song Your Mom is Right in Hometown. And again, welcome to KEXP. Do you mind introing the band super quick? Absolutely. Um, on guitar, we have Matt Vanelli. On drums, Jeremy Hansen. Bass is Jeff Sunquist, And on synth is Jordan Myers. So again, welcome. I think this is your first time here. It is. So for some KEXP listeners, they might not know you, but th- your new album is your seventh album. Yes, and, something like that. And uh, you have a couple. <laughs> you have a side project as well with a couple albums. Yes. Um, but uh, so just a, a, a short little history, so listeners can get to know you who might not. Um, your first album you released independently. You, it came out, I think, when you were like eighteen years old. Yes. And you put it out on your own label. Put it out on your own. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you call it a label, but <laughs> I put it out on my own. Yeah. Um, my parents gave me that for my high school graduation Sweet. present. <laughs> <laughs> so I made a thousand copies, and, and now I don't even have one. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, so your parents were uh, supportive of your music and your creativity. Absolutely. And was yeah. this in uh, North Dakota, South Dakota? South Dakota. So, uh, sorry. Yes, hey. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do okay. know you moved to Minnesota as quickly as you could. <laughs> I did, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where we both both have uh, have roots. So, uh, at some point, um, Alan Sparhawk, KXP friend, saw you, heard you, helped produce your second album. Um, he didn't help produce it, but he did put it out on his label oh, on Chair it. Kickers, and then uh, I went on tour with Low. Yeah, um, a couple tours with them long, long ago. And at some point uh, during your seven albums, you also performed with Andrew Bird. Yes. So, how would you describe sort of the evolution of your sound from that very first album your parents helped you release, mm-hmm. post high school, to uh, to the new one, Impossible Dream? Um, I I, I don't know. I, f- I feel like. Um, I've gotten a little bit louder and definitely the tempos have gotten faster. Um, but to me, the songwriting is all sort of in the same wheelhouse. Um, I think, um, I, I, I think I'm a better songwriter now, but I do, um, I do have an affection for my older stuff. I just like don't play it anymore because it seems so, like another lifetime. <laughs> really? But if you still connect with them, do you ever dig one or two out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, once in a while. Well, I, I would definitely say the songs are louder and faster, <laughs> for sure. Uh, early on, it was a little more folky and stripped down mm-hmm. and uh, lower fi. Uh, so you've got a beautiful website. Um, when you land on the website, there's sort of a Twin Peaksy vibey video. Mm-hmm. I love the WTF section. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> And you also have, it looks like, all the lyrics printed, or not printed, posted. Yes. So when you say that, that you feel like your songwriting um, maybe has sort of changed or you definitely feel that continuity, um, how important are the lyrics and that people see those lyrics? Um, they're very important to me. Um, I am a writer of first and foremost and that that's always been my number one passion and um and I and I I mean I I love a lot of pop music that you know doesn't always have to be something profound but um the lyrical content is important to me and and um there's nothing better than hearing a song that that makes you see something and um, so I, I definitely wanted to create this sort of library of all my lyrics, mostly because uh, I don't like it when people get my lyrics wrong <laughs> and I can't really blame them. So um, they're all there for, for whoever cares to look at them. H- have you see. ever seen any of the lyrics really wrong or misquoted? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and, and, you know, they're not nothing horrible, but a lot of people think that the chorus of hometown is hometown girls wherever you go. And that just makes it a Bruce Springsteen song suddenly. <laughs> and I'm like, say. no, it just goes wherever you go. <laughs> so nothing too bad, though. Yeah, at what point do you just, you know, let them go? As, as a songwriter, that's got to be always... An interesting thing, right? You, you, like you're so deeply emotionally connected to the inspiration for whatever you're writing, and it could mean something totally different to someone else. 
Um, I, I let it go pretty quickly. I mean, I said um, as part of my quote unquote uh, artist statement that's on my website, you know, once I write the songs and they're out, like they're not really mine anymore. People are going to interpret them how they want to. And, and you know, I can tell everybody what I think they're about. But, um, but again, you know, I, I like to interpret music the way that I hear it from other people. So yeah. I encourage others to do the same with mine. Yep, interesting. I've had uh, an artist, Kristen Hirsch, once said that she didn't even feel like she wrote her own songs. <laughs> that oh. the inspiration came from... She was just like kind of the channel form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's definitely some songs like that where you just sit down feeling feelings and suddenly playing a couple of chords and then the song is just there. And others you, you know, work on and criticize and throw them away and dig Sweat them out of the trash them. again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if, if um, you know, are each of your songs kind of individual then? stories or do albums kind of have a continuity or a thread song to song um i think yeah they're they're pretty individual um and that's uh that's part of the fun of you know coming up with an album and um why i haven't really released a whole lot of singles is because it's it's interesting to see in in a bracket of time you know a couple years or three years how, what, what comes out, like what kind of songs I'm going to write and then trying to sort of stitch them together based on the content and, um, you know, it, whether they match or they can be brothers and sisters on this record yeah. or not. Um, but they're very, yeah, very much individual. Do you feel prolific? Like, like it, you know, when it's time to release an album and you're selecting songs, are there a ton that don't make it? No, um, the, I, I released a record called Golder in 2011 and that um, I originally had like 19 songs and I cut it down to uh, 13, I think. And that's probably the most that I've ever had to yeah. trim. But yeah, usually there's like one or two that, you know, you try it out and it doesn't really fit and it can be released later. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that so you sort of see your songs. Is, uh, is video important? Um, you know, I've I changed my tune about that because I used to say n no. Um, I used to not really care about music videos because I, I don't really watch them. Um, uh, and now that I've worked with some really incredible directors, I really enjoy seeing what other people see, you know, as what's their visual match to what I have in my head. And maybe it doesn't match at all, but it, it's it's really cool. It's a really interesting process so in that process that that's you know a process of collaboration across disciplines uh do you do you like to collaborate musically too um yeah i mean uh in my band grandma's boyfriend it's definitely more of a collaborative process um do you see that as sort of an outlet for a different kind of expression of your um musical yeah i mean it's it's definitely different um it's a different performance, uh, but it's it's still it's still very much me, and I don't feel like a different person when I'm performing it. Yeah. Anything. Um, as you mentioned, songs like stories. I understand you're writing a novel. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> Um, no, I'm not a writing book? a novel, but I'm working on some short stories. <laughs> yes. Cool. Uh, it's Haley Bonner live on KEXP again, playing tonight at Barboza, tomorrow night in Portland at the Analog, both shows with Night Moves. Um, how about a couple more songs from uh, the new album, Impossible Dream? Yeah, you bet. Cool. Thank you.
great sounding set. Thank you. It's Haley Bonner live on KEXP. Uh, Kiz McKill and Skins, two songs from uh, the new album, Impossible Dreams. Skins, that's a cool song. Thank you. The way, I don't know if the tempo changes or something happens about 10 seconds in. It's like an interesting shift that you don't hear often. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that just me or is it? No, you're, you're not going crazy. There is an intentional tempo change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. you, you, yeah, you don't hear that often. That, that's sort of that kind of smooth. So um, playing tonight at Barboza, tomorrow night uh, in Portland at Analog, Night Moves on both of those bills. So again, thank you so much. It was oh. great to finally have you here. Yes, thank you so much. Cool. And huge thanks to uh, Alia, Scott, Justin on video, Sarah on photographs, uh, Kevin Suggs on sound, Matt O running the board, hospitality, Nancy and Mitch, Larry Rose, and thanks to all the donors who make these in-studios possible. It's the afternoon show. It's KEXP Seattle. That sounded great. <laughs> Thank you. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.